people welcome back to my channel glad to see you if you are here and glad to see you if you're here for the first time so you can get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel today and push that notifications button for more videos from me okay this is a haul of some crocheted stuff uh 70s inspired i have to say inspired because it's not vintage and uh crocheted vintage stuff in my opinion is like a little difficult to find and then if it is vintage i'm not so sure that i want it unless it's a vest or something like that uh, i have my reasons but anyway i want to show you guys what i found okay um i got this stuff from different places i go online i put something in a browser and then when the item comes up under a particular name or whatever then i will just go ahead and check that if the price is good i'll go ahead and get it and then i worry later when i do the video where did i get that from <laughs> you know kind of like that so here we go okay the first thing that i got okay i have my stuff here in a chair i bought this uh, crocheted I guess you could say sweater right now it's like too hot to wear it I really wanted a vest but I haven't been able to find one and I mean a maxi vest okay uh, I found this granny square crocheted sweater and this is what it looks like okay I have to fold it up all right so I will be doing a video where I will have it on okay eventually and these you know it has long sleeves here and this one I bought it in a medium, I think. I found it on Amazon. Um, I know Amazon is not the most popular place to find stuff, but when you're desperate like me and you see something there and you've been looking everywhere, you know, for a comparable price that you just, you know, you say, okay, yeah, I'll pay that, then you might wind up going over there. So uh, hopefully you guys are okay with that. If you can find this someplace else, um, let me know because I'm still looking for vests and stuff like that. Maxi vests, not the short ones. Okay. All right. These right here came from Fashion Nova, and these are some crocheted pants. They're a little bit belled at the bottom, but not really. And, uh, yeah, they came from Fashion Nova, and it's another online company that I, I shop at. And uh, this is what they look like. And they're long. You know their bell bottom okay so I can't really show you guys the whole thing you really won't see them until I do a video with them on so this is also what I found I'll get up close you guys can see the print okay so it is sort of a rainbow colored granny square and the thing is, is that I am like really good at granny squares I know how to crochet but I have a lot of crochet stuff that I've started and didn't stop but I didn't know what to do with the squares <laughs> I don't have patterns and even if I did, I just don't have the patience to make anything out of it just yet, but I learned a long time ago how to do it. Okay, and here is another uh, crocheted, let's see what's this called, hot and delicious. This is another crocheted outfit and I think uh, these are just the pants. You guys can get up close and see that. Okay, these are just the pants and they're long. Okay, and these also came from Fashion Nova. Oh, I wanted to point out that the pants, both pants that I showed you come with a top, so it's a set. It comes with a bikini top. Let's see if I can get that. Okay, I'll show you guys right now. This is what the bikini tops look like. Okay, this is what the bikini tops look like. So they come with the pants. Oh God, I'm so terrible at showing this. They come with the pants. Okay, and I'll go here. But knowing me, because I'm a little bit modest, I will have some kind of little top on under that. So, uh, cause I don't think I'll be walking down the street with this on. <laughs> okay, and I ride public transportation like trains, buses, subways. So I think I will be wearing something under this when I wear those pants. Okay, both of the pants I showed you have tops like that. They came with bikini tops. Okay, and this is uh, 
something that I have also had for a long time. I didn't buy this recently, but it goes with, uh, it can go with what I just showed you guys. Okay, and I think that I may have gotten this from Forever 21. I think you still might be able to order it on the website uh, if they have any crocheted items left. Because Forever 21 doesn't know what they're doing right now. They don't know if they're coming or going. Okay, all right. And I have nothing bad to say about them. I'm putting stuff in my drawer here. I have nothing bad to say about them because when I first started looking for stuff, they were the first people I went to and they saw me through. Okay, these are the same pants I showed you before, but they are in a different color and they also came from Fashion Nova. Okay. All right, so I think a better video would be with me wearing it so when I get around to doing that, I will post that kind of video. Okay. All right. The next thing I bought, of course, I couldn't be satisfied with just the pants. So I have some crochet shorts and it's by a company called Fashion Nazzle, but I ordered them. I saw them on, uh, on Amazon, so I bought them. So I know it looks like a skirt, but it's not. These are shorts and shorts, Crochet shorts, in my opinion, are hard to find. Okay, I know um, they're hard to find if you don't want to pay a whole lot, and I didn't pay a whole lot for those. Okay, and I also wanted to point out that they come with a panty inside, so just in case you were wondering how they're gonna look if, you, if it doesn't have that, they got you covered there. Okay, so these, like I said, were on Amazon. It took several days to get it. I'd say about, it took about a week for them to order this, I mean, for them to get this to me. But I was very happy when it got here and the white ones got here before the black ones did. Okay, and last but not least, I bought this uh, crocheted long halter dress. And this also came from Fashion Nova. Okay, and uh, it is a small and it's very long. That's the bottom. And this is the top. Okay, so that's how the top is going to look when I do wear it. Okay, I'm gonna wear it today. Okay, the only reason I haven't worn it yet is because I'm gonna to have to take it to a seamstress. Due to the fact that the dress is perfect, but the bottom is so narrow that you can't take a step in it. <laughs> so I don't know what they were thinking, but I'm definitely gonna have to get something done here at the bottom. I don't wanna do it myself because I don't want it to unravel. So I will take it to a seamstress and make sure that they can open up the sides for me so that I don't have any issues walking in this. Okay, uh, let's see, there were other things, something else I wanna show you guys. Ah. Uh, Hold on, I'm gonna show you some summer sandals that I was able to get, and I'm very, very happy that I got them. But hold on just a minute. Okay, you guys, uh, turns out that I have some more clothing that is part of this haul that I want to show you guys. So um, here we go, this is from Fashion Nova. It is one of the first uh, uh, 70s inspired uh, patchwork, or I should say double-toned uh, uh, blue jean denim jumpsuit. And this is what it looks like. These are the sleeves. It has these little puffy sleeves here. It buttons all the way down to the waist. And it has these nice pockets in the back. And it's a little, it's not belled at the bottom. It's sort of a straight leg at the bottom. Okay, what I was planning on doing because I knew that, you know, that was going to be an issue. So I thought when I uh, get it, I figure when I get ready to wear it, I will get some denim material. And I know how to create a bell bottom out of a straight leg pant leg. So that is one thing I think I will do if it really matters that much to me. And it kind of does. So that only takes a couple minutes to do, about 20 minutes to do each leg. And then before I know it, you know, I've got, voila, a bell bottom outfit. So that's one thing I'm gonna do because I, I, got, I had a difficult time finding uh, uh, bell bottom jumpsuits. Um, they're just not that plentiful. Okay. 
Okay, I bought something else that I normally don't know. I mean, I like to sing, so when my opportunity to perform comes around, I will be sure to have on this sequin bell-bottom outfit. Okay. All right, well. Yeah, just currently taking it off the hanger here. Okay, this even excited me, okay, because it was so inexpensive. But this is it, guys, okay? It's a sequin jumpsuit, and I will show you the top of it. And you can see the bottom, this is the bottom of the leg here, and it's a bell bottom. So it's like a gold type of uh, look all the way down to the bottom. And it's a halter in the back. And am I like very proud of it? Yes, I am. Oh, well, I just broke the hanger. Isn't that crazy? Now, how am I gonna hang this up? Good lord. Okay, well, anyway, that's how it, that's how it's gonna look. Okay, but I figure, you know, I'm the kind of person where you would think, would I walk down the street in this with, uh, you know, provided that it's not too long? Would I walk down the street with this on a casual day, just going somewhere? Um, yes. <laughs> Yes, I am that person, okay? Um, I don't, it doesn't have to be a dressy occasion for me to think of doing that. I can just put it on and say, you know, I just feel like wearing this today. And I get a lot of compliments from people from time to time in my community. So, um, you know, I, I don't mind. I love this and I don't have to be singing or performing to wear this. I really don't and I love it. Okay, okay now. I bought these, what I call my Aaliyah pants, because she had a pair in one of her videos. These are some vegan, they're not real leather, uh, lace-up pants. They lace up all the way up, so I will definitely have to have on something underneath there. And uh, they're not bell-bottom, they're sort of straight-legged. So it goes all the way down to the ankle. Okay, so I just went like on a shopping spree and decided I'm just gonna get whatever I like, so that's what I did. All right, next, I have, I bought these from Ross, these really nice tie-dye bell bottoms. Okay, I know it's hard to see that they're bell bottoms on here, but it's kind of a, it's not the tie-dye I really would have wanted because it's not those colors that I like, and it's not necessarily the design that I like, but I also found a long uh, tie-dye jacket to go with it. So I just thought, okay, I don't care if they don't match as long as it's tie-dye. So this is it. And this is not my first go around with tie-dye, but I thought they were cool. It was a cool $6.99 for them. I just was not gonna leave them there. I saw them the first time and I said, nah, I don't need those because I have two, two of those at home. And then I said, you know what? I do need them. So I went back and got them. All right, so let me put these away. All right, now I have been looking for this from Amazon. And like I said, I know Amazon is not the best loved company at the moment. Okay, and this is a nice dress. Oh, this this is not what I want to show you guys, but this is a dress that I, I've thrifted from the Goodwill. And there's a jumpsuit that I have that looks exactly like this. So that's what I was intending to show you guys, and that's what I'm going to show you in the next frame. Hold on. Okay, so now I can show you my bell-bottom jumpsuit. I've been staring at it on Amazon for a long time. A long time meaning like a year, okay, before I decided to get it. And this is what it looks like. It's a halter top. This part is, you know, it's open here. It's a halter here. These are the straps. And it's bell-bottomed at the bottom. So it goes all the way down. And I know it's really hard to see that, but anyway, this is what the pants look like. And they still have it. They have it in another color. They have it in red, white, and blue, which I decided against that. So I just got this. I decided this would be better. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is what it looks like, a complete jumpsuit. And I figure that in the winter time when it gets cold, I'll just wear a shirt under it or a turtleneck and see how that works. You know, you have to sort of recycle things back into the way you want to wear them. You don't want to have to always put a summer item away when you might be able to add something to it, you know, a turtleneck, like I said, or a shirt or something, and still be able to wear it, you know. Okay, mind me while I put this away. Okay, I'm back. 
All right, now, I'm not gonna talk about where this came from. I'm just gonna show you guys that I got it. Okay, these are some, now these pants came from Sugar Thrills and I saw them, they were on sale and I said, I'm gonna get them. So, they are some shiny belt bottoms that you can see through unless you wear, unless I wear some tights underneath, which I have. So these are bell bottoms and they, they're belled at the bottom. Okay, all right. And this is how they look at the top. And they have a top that I put it someplace. It's over there. Okay. They have a top that has stars. So if you will hold on just a second, I will get that. Okay. This is the top that came with it. This is the top. So as you can see, there's two stars on both sides. So it's a bikini top. And again, like other tops that I have like this, uh, bikini tops, I usually wear um, a, uh, a tube top underneath like I have on underneath this this crocheted uh, top that I bought from, I think I got it downtown. I think I bought this, yeah, I did buy this downtown. Okay, so yes, that's what this looks like. And it has this interesting strap in the back. So I guess I just wanna make sure that it is secure and it is secure. So anyway, I bought this and the pants and it was an entire set and it was cheaper than cheap i mean cheaper than fifty dollars cheap <laughs> i could not turn it away okay and that is another thing i will wear on any typical day if i just felt like it okay this is uh this came from shine i think no this came from fashion nova shine is another company that i buy things from so I have a haul that will be coming up as soon as those things get here. You guys will just go crazy. If you're into the 70s, you will love what I got from them. I got six items coming my way from them. Okay, anyway, I was just trying to put the buttons on this. This is a halter top. It's denim. Um, it's got this in the back. This, uh, I guess you could say it's, uh, okay, it came from Fashion Nova. This is just an elastic band. It's just really wide. And the way you put it on, you put it over your head like this. You put your arms in it, You and you this is gonna open, so that gives you an idea. But I'll just show you guys what it's gonna look like. And it plunges kind of low, a little lower than I would like. And uh, so I'm gonna do something to just cover this up in here just a little bit. I can find some denim to just put like in there just a little bit okay and that will make me happy and yeah this is how it's gonna look when I do have it on okay and I'll show you guys the jeans that I got to go with them all right and these are some jeans that I also found were on Amazon this is an Amazon Fashion Nova haul okay and sugar thrills Okay, and this is uh, the bell bottoms. They don't look like, they look like they're really big, but they're not. And they're uh, not a big bell, just small enough at the bottom. And this is what they look like in the back. Kind of this, uh, I guess you could say distressed look here. I'm usually really against that, but because um, they were, uh, you know, different colors of denim. So I thought, okay, I'll go ahead and I'll do it. And they're high-waisted, which I think is also cool too. Cause sometimes the low-waisted ones you sit down and everybody knows what the crack of your butt looks like, except you. <laughs> so I am not about that. I'm just not about that. But I do have some hip hugger stuff. Um, but I'll just show you guys up close what they look like. So we've got a seven inch, uh, I don't wanna say placket, I forgot what you call that. But that's just to let you know that they will come up to the navel and it has an extra pocket here and I can show you with the bell this is the bell bottom so yeah okay so I figured it'll go great with that top that I just showed you guys all right so this video is pretty long okay and I'm gonna show you guys a few shoes and then we're gonna end this okay hold on okay so as we get closer to the end of my video I don't know how long it is but uh, I'm just gonna show you a few of the shoes that I was able to get. This video would be much longer if I showed you all the shoes I was able to get uh, in the past couple of days, or I should say past couple of weeks. I've been shopping for like two and a half weeks now. Okay, this is a shoe 
Um, if anyone knows where it came from, don't come for me. I wanted them and I bought them. It's a company called Sugar Thrills or Current Mood. Okay, and uh, these are fabulous. And I walked in them already. Um, I really do need a better sock, uh, a really thin sock if you're gonna wear these. And because they come, they're quite narrow in here, which I don't, they weren't thinking about that, but they're so 70s and they're so 60s glam, I just had to get them. And they have these clouds and they're clear, they're plastic. And uh, a black sock, anything that brings out the, the color in the clouds or a blue sock or whatever, that's really what I need that comes to the ankle. But yes, I am proud of these and I was staring at them for a long time, so I decided, yes, I can afford them, so I got them. Okay. All right, and then yesterday, these came from me in the mail. I ordered these. These came from a company called Urban Aug. Okay, I'd never heard of them, or Urban OG. And these are some pom-pom gladiator sandals. Okay, what's great about them is that the pom-poms stay in place. You don't have to adjust them with the strap. You just stick your foot in them. You unzip it from the back, okay, from the back. You stick your foot in, you adjust them with the straps, and you're good to go. And I love them, okay? And last but not least, I got these Gladiator sandals, and as you can see, they are blinged out, okay? And I paid, I ordered them, and I think they were like 22 or something like that, that's before the shipping. In fact, I think the shipping was free because I ordered some other stuff, so the shipping would be free. And so far, they are very nice. They zip up in the back, and you just slip your foot in them. And for all of you to whom it matters, you don't have anything going on here that's gonna scratch your foot unless you're really sensitive to the, uh, the I don't wanna say the diamonds, the little, uh, shiny stuff that they have going on here in the plastic that's there. You might want to be concerned about that because I was once I put them on. So that can be an issue after a while. Okay, and if you'll hold on just a second. Okay, and this is another shoe that I bought recently that I am very, very proud of. And you can see these are rhinestone straps with butterflies on every strap. And it is optional. I don't have to keep the butterflies on there. I can just take them off if they get on my nerves. <laughs> but I've never owned a shoe like this. I have taken the opportunity to own shoes I have never owned and have had the privilege of staring at for a long, for a long time. Suddenly their price became accessible. And I said, okay, they'll never be that low in price again. So I grabbed them. So here we go. And these are also uh, a Sugar Thrills item or current mood item. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry to disappear off the scene like that. And one last two items because like I said I'll do another video on other stuff that I have um, I just bought these t-strap Mary Janes and I got them from Amazon the only thing I regret is that you know they don't have a block heel I would have preferred it but that's even hard to find just I was lucky that I found these and I, I want mine new so here we go in fact even if I wanted them vintage they're never gonna I'm never gonna find a vintage pair in a tin that's just not gonna happen, or 10 and a half. Not gonna happen, not in all my years. So I ordered these and this is what they look like. You have both straps here, both double T straps. And I also was able to secure them in black. I would have preferred them in pink and yellow, but they didn't come like that. So here we go, red and black. Okay, so I'm gonna put these away. And I 
want to show you guys one more thing because I'm hoping to inspire someone so that's why I, I, I do this but this is another go-go -go boot I found it's silver mesh I ordered these from hollywoodcostumes.com and I forgot what they call it the phantasma uh, mesh go, go and silver and I think it's mesh 3 303 or 300 I'm not sure but if you go to the Hollywood dot com I mean Hollywood uh, uh, Holly, ho, uh, Halloweencostumes.com they're the ones that carry these with the mesh they only come in silver black and possibly red and I didn't want those colors so I got them in this color here okay so anyway that ends this haul I hope it's not too long to look at and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting my channel and uh, see you next time I have another video for you to see let me know if you are inspired by what I have showed you if you've gone out and was able to get some uh, to secure some things like this I hope you let me know and uh, hello to any new subscribers and thank you so much if you have pushed that notifications button you are helping me I'm trying to get to 2,000 subs I know that's not a big number but I'm working on it and you guys are helping me all right thank you so much until next time bye bye